think might be a better one. Is it? Better? Yeah. Alright. Huge. Oh. Are you sure? Sounds like a good one. Good one. <laughs> Keep your line tight. Just, you're not going to break that line. So, if that is a bass, that is a totally big one. Is that a fish? I don't feel his head shaking. It's running. Keep it coming. Keep it. Keep your rod down. Keep your rod down. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Tell you what, man, it's a totally, total different feel from that uh, that shaky head worm, man. He's God, that thing's ugly. Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Look at how ugly it is. Catfish is about as pretty as it gets. That's ugly as hell. <laughs> well, I've had something big. <laughs> Omega Man, come on over here for me. What boat number? 15. Boat number 15, how many fish? Five. Five fish? You running the Omega Custom Tackle today? Uh, yeah, I was running an Omega Custom Structure jig. It was a 7 8 and then I was also throwing Pro Tungsten weights on a brush hog and a power worm. The Fullers and the Boyettes would love to hear that. There you go. Yeah. All right, we got Nick Alt out of Gravoy Mills, and we got Dane Pinkston out of St. Louis, Missouri. We got five fish here. Good bag here. Probably around 14 pound mark, you think? I'm thinking maybe 14. How about we go 1437, 1437, yeah, good job, my man. Well, there you have it, guys. The Anglers in Action Tournament season was wrapped up. Um, we ended up with 1437. Wasn't quite enough to get a check. You needed, I think, right at 15 pounds to get a check. But we did what we thought we needed to do. You know, after the, the charity tournament, we decided that we'd just repeat the same pattern and we'd left some fish in that area. We went there and caught them just didn't catch enough to uh, make the make the pay cut which is fine you know we had a good weekend Dan and I had an awesome time catching some fish and uh, we look forward to the tournament champions out at Table Rock so hopefully uh, hopefully that events go, goes well too um, not very confident on that lake but I'm gonna get down there a couple days early and try and try and learn a little bit see what uh, what kind of you know tricks and secrets that lake holds and see if we can't come in with 
hopefully 12 to 15 pounds each day. If not, that's no big deal because that's a lake that's a challenge to fish, yet is capable of uh, producing some mighty big bags. So all I can do is go out there and try my best to uh, to come in and compete. You know, that, that's what happens when you go to any lake you're not familiar with. You do your research, take your time, and then you try to get on the water. You know, time on the water makes a big, big difference. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more to come in the near future.